Hey guys, so today's video is going to be one that was requested by one of my friends on Twitter. I will put her Twitter name right here. She's super sweet. So basically, it's the 10 things I would repurchase if I lost all my makeup tag. Um, I looked at some videos on it, and it was just about, like, if I lost all my makeup, what were the 10 things I would go out and repurchase right then. Um, I have two high-end, but I also have a lot of drugstore. Most of it is drugstore, so pretty happy about that. Um, I really do love these products, and I highly recommend them. I will also be tagging some specific people down below. And um, feel free to do this if you're watching. If you're not tagged, it don't matter. I tag everybody. So, But I'll just have a few people down below I specifically tag. So let's get started. The first thing I would repurchase is this MAC Paint Pot. This is in Soft Ochre. And I've actually had this for a while now. Probably about, I'd say, a year and a half. And look at how much product I have left in this bad boy. Like, I have so much more product left. It's insane. Um, I've had it so long. It's just been, like, a great investment that I made. I think it was, like, $15, $16. I'm not too sure. But it's a great primer. Um, I do have oily lids, so this is nice. I love it. I know a lot of people have painterly, but personally, I love soft ochre. So, And you can tell I did try to film this once. <laughs> secret, secret. Okay, next is concealer. Now, I didn't mention this in my concealers video because a lot of people, when I mentioned it in the past, um, said that they couldn't find it. But then, whenever I posted that video, they were like, well, why didn't you mention it? And I'm like, well, because nobody says they can find it. And I don't want to recommend something to you guys and like be all hyped up about it if you personally cannot find it. But I had people tell me they found it at Ulta, Target, stuff like that. So go check out your local drugstores. Um, some people might have it, some people don't. But since some people said that they did find it, I decided to include it because it is one of my favorites. Um, it's the Revlon Age Define Concealer, and mine is in medium. I love this. And if you get the right color, you can use it underneath your eyes and on your face. And let me just tell you, this brightens your under eye so amazingly. Even if it's just a little bit too dark, you can always take just a lighter concealer underneath, which is what I do sometimes, and just tap it in with your finger and you're good to go. So I love that concealer so much. Um, sticking with eyes... We're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the Naked Palette. I would definitely have to repurchase this. I feel like if I did, I wouldn't have to go out and purchase any other eyeshadow palettes for a very long time because this one just has every color I would need. I could do a very light eye, go into the darker colors, and do more of a smoky eye. It's just one of my favorites. A lot of you have seen this. It's not a new thing. So I love this palette. It's totally, totally worth the money. Also for liner, this is actually what I have on my eyes today. My liquid liner is the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. I absolutely love this. It's a felt tip liner, so that's what it looks like. Some people get bad ones of these, but I've always gotten the really good pens. I've never had a problem with mine, and this one's lasted me for forever. And if you're wondering, this is the swatch right there. So it's really nice pigmented, and I do like the felt tip because it kind of wears down a little bit, so it makes it easier to apply the liner, um, but I really like it. It's one of my favorites, and I feel like if I had to just go purchase it, this is only a dollar, so it'd be great. I love it. For pencil liner, I would definitely go with the L'Oreal Hip Liner. At first, I didn't like this because it was super harsh, but as I've used it more, I really like it. It's the, like I said, L'Oreal Hip Liner. So it's just a pencil liner, no big deal. Alright, and for mascara, this should probably come as to like no shock to any of you. Um, it's the CoverGirl Lash Plus uh, Volume. I love this mascara. It's just been my holy grail. I love it so much. It's been the only one I've used since I even found out about this mascara and purchased it. It literally lengthens and volumizes and separates so well. Not to mention... It holds a curl like nobody's business. Like, I don't have to curl my lashes when I use this. Um, it's just that... Ooh, <laughs> I just tossed it. But it's just that amazing. So, love that mascara. Okay, on to face, which is like my favorite. I love face products. Um, this is also no surprise to you guys. I would recommend, or I would go out and buy the Cover Talks Tin Powder from Physicians Formula. My all-time favorite powder. I actually have one on my vanity right now. Um, and then I have this one as well. I repurchased so many of these. This is in transparent medium, but it's just my all-time favorite. And I could just set my concealer and my face with this, so I love it. It's my favorite powder from the drugstore ever, like seriously. 
It's so freaking flawless. And then for blush and bronzer, I decided to go with this Wet n Wild bronzer, which I know I haven't talked about at all, really, on my channel. Or at all, actually. But I got this at the end of last month, and I've been using it throughout this month, and I really like it. I just sort of use it in a three motion on my face, and it's Wet n Wild's bronzer. And this is in Princess. And it's just really nice to kind of dust in that in the areas where the sun would naturally hit you. So that's what it looks like. It's just my favorite one that I've um, gotten from the drugstore so far. I think it's really nice and it just gives you that really nice glowy kind of bronzed look. So I like that. And I think it's only like $2.99 so that's a steal. And then I also for blush had to pick this um, Hard Candy Fox in a Box. This is in Spicy and Sweet. And that's what it looks like. And you can just mix them all together. You can pick certain colors if you want. And that's a swatch of that. It's just beautiful. I love this blush so much. So for lips, a lot of you probably know that my lips are naturally like lighter. And I don't really do much with them. But I do put lip balm on them. And this is my favorite one. And I would definitely have to go purchase this again. It's the Burt's Beads um, Tinted Lip Balm. And this is in Tiger Lily. And it's just a very natural kind of skin tone color. It's not really nude like they say it is. But that's just what it looks like. And then I'll show you a little swatch. So it just kind of um, amps up my lip color a little bit. And it just is really moisturizing and like my favorite one ever. So definitely this. And that is all of my products that I would repurchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you don't want to leave a video response, then totally let me know in the comments what are some of the products that you would repurchase if you lost everything. So like I said, I will tag um, some specific people in the down bar and everybody feel free to do it. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I tag everyone. Um, leave it as a video response if you want. I would love to watch it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!